I don't know where this idea came from, but I thought it'd be cool for us to show off some of the things that we carry with us every day. I know most of us are geeks and have a, a, some kind of bag that has your laptop in it and who knows what else. Oh, right there. Okay, anyways, I would like to know what else, and I'm sure all of you would too. So, the idea is walk up here, show it off your stuff, pack it all back up and leave. <laughs> and Tim's going to record it with the camera up there. So. I also have a bag to show. Who wants to go first? Somebody. Bob's going first. All right. I don't carry one. Yes, you do. You have your briefcase. I don't carry that every day. This is what I carry every day. It is always within like three feet of me. This is my bag. <laughs> this is also part of my bag. My headphones. That is the longest they've been off my head in like a month. <laughs> We, we can attest to that. I keep my netbook with me at all times and uh, my wallet. That's what I always have on me. That's it. What, uh, is, your, is your bag open source? No, it's, it's free software though. Okay. <laughs> That's what I carry with me. Who is next? Alright, here's my bag. What's in your bag, Tim? What's in my bag? Lots day. of stuff. <laughs> Some daily carries. A laptop, much like the other. Notebooks and magazines, reading materials, stuff to write down if I need to. I also keep an e-reader. A PSP. The charger for my laptop. A 500 gig external hard drive, a set of precision screwdrivers. Um, this is like uh, Lenovo's uh, HTPC keyboard. I really like it and I carry it every day because it's essentially a USB keyboard and mouse that's really small. So if I needed a keyboard and mouse to plug into something, it's right there, ready to go. I also carry see more PSP games. This is a long wait at the airport. A uh, card reader. More flash storage. <laughs> cables. I have, uh, yes, I have a plethora of cables, including two of the multi-cable sets, just to make sure you can plug into something. I also usually carry with me a set of lock picks, which are handy when you lock yourself out of your house or something what? like that. That's that that More kills. It's burglar's it's, tools. Intent is the nature of the law on those. I will never break into someone's house except my own. So I also carry uh, a few locks with me. Uh, again, you get bored somewhere, you can kind of practice, play around, hand them to somebody else. Impromptu lessons break out, and I end up showing people how to use them. I also have a one watt Wi-Fi antenna, an adapter, and a GPS adapter for war driving. <laughs> Another small notebook. Um, let's see. I do keep this. What? Gotcha. Well, I do keep this camera with me. In my bag, uh, I'll show you the, the case for it, but it's up there right Would now. Does the tripod stay in your bag too? No, it does not. I keep uh, more tools, uh, a little multi-tool screwdriver. If I have to get into something. I also keep pills and medicine to keep myself healthy. I keep headphones, listen to stuff. And I also keep snacks. Yes. <laughs> I keep snacks for everyone. I'm hungry. Snacks. That's that's my dad. That's my daily carry. <laughs>
<laughs> Hi, I'm not the last guy. Hi, not the last guy. I carry this briefcase with me. This briefcase has all the tools that I need. What's in the briefcase? There's four. <laughs> in the briefcase, we have. <laughs> Whenever I'm working on uh, IBM teletypes or uh, punch card machines, these are the tools I generally use, including a, a multimeter, a rag, sets of uh, uh, socket wrench set. The kit does include a soldering iron. For those, we all know computers are electromechanical, so if I need to resolder a wire. <laughs> And not Important tool for fixing computers <laughs> is a ball peen hammer. <laughs> we have uh, a whole series of uh, forceps and grabbers, um, various long reaching screwdrivers, pliers. Um, we have um, all of the various screws and, and various types of hardware that goes into your. Uh, IBM tape and readers and such. Another set of, of precision screwdrivers. Grease because you got to keep mechanisms moving well. <laughs> there are uh, uh, long grabbers for when you drop. Um, <laughs> for when you drop stuff, it, it'll fall like way behind, deep in that machine. You know, it's about the size of a refrigerator. <laughs> There's also. Um, my, my work logs <laughs> and other papers, um, a couple of manuals and notes. Why that on your pocket? <laughs> because you keep it there. <laughs> so, let me just put a bit of better. Wait, picture. And then we'll divide and buy the IBM on my drink too. And then we'll fill the dish. Great. So, uh, the, 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 the small joke of this though, you asked where I got this. This was my grandfather's. He worked for IBM. Where's the opium? What? Okay. Uh, right here. Because I might need it. <laughs> Does that come up often? It's a yes. Wood? Okay. Um, homemade serial cable, right. or normal modem cable actually, and USB A to B cable. Some Bluetooth adapters that I have yet to play with properly. And opening, actually opening it, we have the laptop, of course. Advil. The SSD I need to install. <laughs> <laughs> My micro USB cable. Ten minutes screwdrivers if you need them. HDMI cable. Spare battery for the laptop. Uh, USB to serial adapter. Second one? No, th that was a null modem cable under there. And micro USB charger, a laptop charger, audio splitter, audio cable, <laughs> camera, yes. Every year. cable ties, empty Aspen bottle. And then under here we've got a notebook, some flash memory, and some paper. So that's pretty much it for me. <clears throat> Thank you. 
paperwork and magazines and whatnot that I carry around for reading. Spare mounts. Never know when you're gonna need it. Um, all important flaps. <laughs> Airbrush, USB card reader, uh, bottle Advil, <laughs> two packs of gum, some rechargeable batteries and a recharger for them. They're the in loop type. I like those. They hold a charge for a very long time. What type? Uh, in loop? In loop? Yeah. In a loop. Whatever. Oh, you're stuck in I don't know. Um, <laughs> Set of Panasonic headphones. It was useful. Small camera tripod. Um, flashlight with a glow in the dark hand. <laughs> Ooh. So you can find it in the dark. That's right. Are the batteries good in there? Yeah. Uh, check. Does it take your rechargeable batteries? No, this one actually takes triple A's, I think. Yes. It'd be neat to make an adapter. Okay. Um, lighter, even though I don't smoke because I didn't want to get stuck in the dark again like it did last time the power went out. And I used, I found this and used it to light a candle and then I used the candle to find this flashlight buried in a box. So those are always going to be in my backpack. <laughs> Um, ridiculous amount of thumb drives and other media. It's a result of lots of trips to have clean bag. Uh, bottle opener. That is from, I don't know, Greek Nick 10. Uh, condom. Not a shame. Electric tape. <laughs> Whatever works. <laughs> Only once. Oh, okay, so that's all I got there. Another card reader for my iPod. Uh, the camera's dead, but I have all this camera stuff in here usually. Because I usually carry my camera with me. More random media. Um, and one of those like chamois cloth things for. Yeah. Clean stuff up. Um, travel deodorant thing. You never know. And a little bottle of hand sanitizer. Uh -huh. And that's pretty much it. Oh, I forgot to put it in my pockets. It's still rolling. Oh. Um, I have my Moleskine, so I write down all my ideas in. <laughs> which gained a bunch of like post-it notes type things like that. Um, two thumb drives. One for my key, one's about 30 tickets that I carry all my stuff on. And a small multi tool. My wallet and a pen for, for writing ideas down. That's pretty good. Cool. Go ahead. I'm Josh, this was in my bag. <laughs> oh no! That's a bucket and a key. Check book. Daft Punk CDs. <laughs> Lens sight savers to clean your glasses. Huh. An old MIDI CD ROM with the uh, software from my last company. Is that for blackmail or something? <laughs> it's to show off what we used to do. Deposit looks from my bank because people are always taking them out of the deposit machine box. <laughs> my bowling league card. My uh, leftover gift certificate's got about a dollar and a half left on it for the uh, karate store. 
You never know what could go in there and spend a that about pre game? <laughs> now I know why you need your checkbook. Because it's only a dollar and a half. Yep. Useless pocket, though. And uh, I'll record in a case of zombie dice. Yeah. What's the zombie dice? It's a little dice game you play. Uh, it's uh, basically uh, you uh, green. You roll and try to get brains. Oh, okay. And yep. if you roll too many shotguns, you lose all your brains that turn. Hilarious. Make sure you speak up. My uh, 10 inch tablet computer. A nice uh, ViewSonic G tablet. <laughs> Hacked with the uh, Illuminate ROM based on honeycomb. Ink pen, in this case the uh, felt tip, Sharpie type pen, a charger for the tablet. Alright, it's also my bag. Now pockets. There's gloves. Under armor. The wallet goes in here. I'm sorry. Too late. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you, pal. What happened? Tissues. What do you mean? My, uh, Chevrolet, uh, what's it called, uh, Red Tide Assistance card. <laughs> My OnStar card. Uh, this is the one I've been waiting for. I'm going to zoom in nice and close on those, okay? Oh! <laughs> oh, good. Uh, with several multi tools. And uh, the Sandmaster Hecky Sack. <laughs> and I actually keep all my drinking buddies with me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, those are drinking buddies. Ah. They hang on the side of your cup. Yeah. My friend's daughter gave them to me. She said, let me show you my drinking buddies. And I said, you're way too young for drinking buddies. <laughs> and a carabiner with a compass. Just in case. Just in case. Just in case. <laughs> you lost that All right, that's just my jacket. Now my pants pockets. Oh. The uh, GTX cell phone. Car key. Pocket knife, Smith and Wesson. <laughs> uh, multi tool, basically uh, four screwdrivers. My USB for the door and cook machine. And that's all. Yep. Good picture. Action. We're good? Uh, my netbook, its power adapter, my mouse, and my mouse pad are already out of the bag. Because yeah. I'm using those. Or was using those. But here's my bag. Um, also in this pocket, we've got an 11 one screwdriver, which is maybe the most useful thing. I'm not sure. Uh, I've used it. Yeah, I've got Phillips, I've got like Torx 6 and Torx 8, and then the socket types for computer parts. But I use that for uh, racking servers or taking apart things or whatever. That comes up more often than it should. Um, I've got a nylon bag which I've used for groceries or uh, lunch or whatever. It's a great bag that then just stuffs into itself. There's a bag in your bag. Give a dog. Um, flashlight. Because that comes up a lot. What else is in this pocket? Um, thumb drive. Um, a square reader. So I can take credit cards when people owe me money. That doesn't come up often. Um, I've got a one amp USB wall outlet. Um, I think that's it. Huh, neat. Um, an Ethernet cable that actually rides on the USB ports. 
So it's both USB and Ethernet, and I totally forgot that was in there. That's neat. Where'd you find that? Another a USB. It came in some set um, of a bunch of. This one's. Um, that one was male to male. This one's male to female. A uh, bunch of twist ties. Came stuff neat. Uh, this one just has a plastic bag. For when I need to bag up something and throw it away. I think there's another plastic bag in there. Uh, I got my laser pointer, which seems to be low. Do you use a popping bubble that you use? I do. Um, stickers to promote the shop. Um, business cards to promote me, and business cards from other people. Uh, earbud headphones for when I forget my other headphones. Um, they're not as big as other ones that other people have shown off. A one watt USB uh, network adapter, wireless network adapter with a short antenna on it instead of an ungodly long antenna. Yeah. That's loose apparently. Um, that is a cable that goes to a eight amp hour uh, battery. Wow. That's got a USB and then uh, plugs to power the laptop for a little bit more or to power the tablet, 7-inch Android tablet, for when that runs out of juice, like currently. Um, an RJ45 crossover adapter to make the that Ethernet cable or <laughs> There's another Ethernet cable here somewhere. Oh, that's a lot. Anyway, I've got another We'll get to that. Um, the USB light, which can be combined with this, we create a flashlight when need be. <laughs> <laughs> um, the charging adapter for that. Um, so we have. We've got another cable for that. I don't remember what that was intended for. Um, a Minty Boost to do double A's to USB. More power. I think you're winning the battery contest. <laughs> yeah. uh, a another wireless uh, USB that is capable of doing host mode when used with host APD, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Whereas the other one is more for monitor mode, promiscuous mode. Um, the cutest little USB to mini USB to micro USB adapter, huh. which is a little flaky, but it'll work in a pinch. And then an actual USB to mini USB adapter cable. Um, 3D goggles, glasses. Um, a USB to serial adapter. Zip tie. More twist ties. Um, but one project that's gotten stuck in my bag is I need to fix the power adapter on the power button on the Sony Ericsson Live View. Um, so right now it doesn't really do much. But it charges off micro USB, so I can charge that up if I need to. Um, a USB hub that takes uh, four ports, but it takes mini USB. So that'll work with one of the mini USB cables. Um, this is just a mini or a micro USB, micro SD to SD adapter, uh, USB to USB A, uh, USB to mini USB, <laughs> um, another USB to USB A, um, a TNC, um, a TNC that's currently programmed with serial to TTL serial software to use for uh, debugging routers or uh, the dock stars. Um, this is a power adapter for the XPAL to go to um, mini or micro USB, it looks like. Um, a crap card that needs to get thrown away. Oh. Um, headers for the TNC that came off. Another twist tie. Um, a female USB to 
mini USB to be paired with the mini USB to micro USB adapter to get a actual host mode USB port on devices that support host mode USB ports. <laughs> Like my old phone, I think the current phone will do it too, but I haven't actually done that. Um, here's another project, a GPS that needs to get fixed. It's so empty. Do we actually call this, what's in your bag slash hurt your bag? How long has it been since you were in the bottom of your bag? Well, getting to the bottom of the bag isn't hard, but there's a pocket inside there, which is where most of this stuff was hiding. Um, I don't see the AA batteries, though, which worries me. Um, and then I've got another pouch that has the, my attempts at trying to keep this all corralled. I've got just a straight Ethernet cable, which I use most of the time, because I forgot the other one was in there. Um, this handy cable that goes between USB, USB when it needs extra power, and mini USB, and a micro USB adapter on the end. So that would work for phones, or the hub, or the GPS, or uh, it's USB. Um, here's the, the power adapter for iPhones for the backup battery. Pouch. Um, crazy folder, which is fun on the eyes, uh, which Whoa. contains papers and documents. That's the bag. Um, I keep a pen on me all the time. Uh, I keep a small screwdriver for Phillips and Flathead, which I use very frequently. Um, and I've got my keys that have keys. Um, it has a thumb drive. It has a micro USB adapter on it. Micro USB to or, um, micro SD to USB. Yeah. And then I've got a simple pocket tool, a multi-tool that's pliers and I think that's a wire cutter there, but I don't think it works very well. And it's got like four screwdrivers on it. Um, and then I've got my real multi-tool with pocket knife and pliers and file and bottle opener. Uh, receipts in that pocket. And I'm going to talk over him to mention that I keep a Leatherman on me at all times. The Leatherman wave. Hi, Phil. What's in your bag, Phil? Hey, you hey. Yeah, you know. nah. <laughs> This laptop is not the biggest laptop here. I don't know. That netbook does look pretty big. Jennifer has a laptop. So we've got the laptop. We've got the power supply. We've got a, a, a project uh, netbook. We've got the murder gloves. <laughs> we've got... Which don't fit. Right. That, they do fit. <laughs> We've got a, uh, an iConnect that I'm currently in the process of working on, and Ethernet, or no, that's USB. Yep. Dinner. <laughs> that's for cleaning off uh, stuff. I don't have nearly as many batteries as, as uh, Matt has. This is a random bag full of USB adapters. Uh, couple of MOSFETs, a writing stick. I forgot that was in there. Battery, a square, a retractable uh, USB. It's a writing stick. Okay. Sharpie. Gotcha. <laughs> well, I, I didn't see you take it out and say writing stick. I was looking away and just heard writing stick. I was like, wait, because you're Phil, and a writing stick could be a burnt piece of wood. Ooh. That falls into the into the equal. Do you have one of those? The, the, the I don't. Uh, that last one was an Ethernet cable, right? Yes, this is a retractable Ethernet. I love retractable. Uh, 
Mouse, a uh, power supply for headphones, another Ethernet, some, what do you call this? Chapstick? A what? A soothing stick? Sure. Some more. What are those? Stuff. Uh, they're just these little tools for for uh, you know etching. Huh. Okay. More rechargeable batteries. And so rechargeable also batteries. writing sticks. Huh? Writing sticks. Right. <laughs> Correct. Writing is wood or a human skin. USB stick. Change for the candy machine. <laughs> I think that's it. That's, that's pretty much it. Awesome. Let me get a picture. <laughs> What's the uh, the chamois you have? Is that special purpose or is that's it that's just for a dog a laptop? <laughs> like, how did you find it and buy it? It was at Walmart. <laughs> oh, all right. All right. Cool. I saw it and I was like, oh, I need that. And I think you should show off those batteries more. The Duracells. I got these from Woot. Woot yeah. was having a, uh, a sale on, they have a two for Tuesday deal. And so, like, you can buy from one to three at a time. Yeah. And But on two for Tuesday, I wound up with six. Excellent. So, so they, they charge via USB yeah. and output via USB. That's right. <laughs> So you can actually just take that out and plug it on the other end. So, infinite power. Infinite power. Yes. Okay. Now, I've, actually, when I first got them, I plugged them all together. <laughs> Six in a line. <laughs> yeah, this is huh? No, no, it's a line. In a line, feeding into the. Uh, into the USB. But anyway, that's it. Yeah. Hello. I don't always carry my backpack with me, so that doesn't really count. But here's what I do carry every day. Pocket knife. You never know when you need to cut something or someone. What? How do you sit? <laughs> Cell phone and a Taurus 709 slip. <laughs> this is what I carry. Uh, okay. Although normally I don't carry this, this was in my bag today. That's keyboard, which makes that one noise. Uh, graphing paper notebook. Laptop, like everyone else. This, I have a small digital camera, as well as spare memory uh, clip for that. Spare CR123A batteries, which I'll get to in a minute. Uh, thumb drive, cell phone batteries, and I'm not going to take them out a bunch of the small micro SD cards. Okay. 80211 adapter, it's really small. I also have a TC, like Matt. Uh, headphones, a laser pointer, and a uh, tablet, my cord for my tablet to charge. I have a spare knife and two flashlights. This side. Have a battery charger for the laptop. TI 89, because I'm so used to it in school. And this, in here I have uh, two multi tools. I have lock bits that I'd like uh, Tim. Uh, two more flashlights. Then. Yeah. 
a third one. You've got a USB AA on the And those the same mates? We can carpool those the same Oh, yeah. So, this is a small cell phone battery charger. Charges by USB and then you can discharge into cell phones. I'm not going to do a adjustment, but there's that. And what is Oh, uh, okay, gotcha. Uh, oh, well, so on this side I have a two water. water. I didn't see that coming at all. Surprise! <laughs> and I think that's it. Here's my bag. Most important thing you can ever carry is a water bottle. The front to the bag is my purse. So, I probably won't show you everything just because it's a standard woman's purse. Important things. This is a set of flatware, including chopsticks. That's awesome. I yes. know, right? Where did you get that from? Amazon. Uh, no, actually, <laughs> Seriously? you have to do it. You get it down to it. Right. Checkbook. That's mostly because I don't have internet at home and I need to remember to set up direct deposit. It's a hat I should be wearing. Reusable bag. How would you get that? Amazon. Walmart. The vitamin shop. Oh, yeah. Like four years ago. That has some of the ones that have their own little carabiner on them. I like those. I have to find them for a while. I think it came with a carabiner. Yeah. yeah. Combs are important, especially if you're a girl. Or women. Hey. Or Matt. Um, <laughs> crochet hooks are extremely useful. For those times when you need to crochet your way out of a paper bag. <laughs> a bunch of conductive thread that I didn't actually know was getting wadded up in my bag. Oh no. That's not good. And now you know. I am nerdier than all of you. I have a whole set of gaming dice. So. <laughs> yes. Flavored toothpicks. Wait, what are they flavored like? Uh, tea tree oil. Okay. And then I have a bunch of just general cosmetics, personal health stuff in here. So, y'all don't need to know that I have mouthwash and Advil and toothbrush, toothpaste, all the above. Alright. Purse that goes with me absolutely everywhere. So it has the most important things. Disposable toothbrushes, because nasty teeth are nasty, and chapstick. Oddly enough, a set of felting needles and a tapestry needle. That is because I have my current working project, which is a scarf. All right, the main stuff. My Kindle, random paper. What a case for the Kindle. I know, right? It doesn't fit well. My laptop, which has a power adapter. A set deck. This will almost always be on me if you ever want to play set. I will almost always stop what I'm doing to play set. Set. To go with that, Set. We have a deck of cards. And there should be, yes indeed, another deck of cards. If you're ever in the mood to play cards, I love to play cards. Alright. Pens, very useful things. I call them pens because I'm not as cool as Bill. <laughs> a set of knitting needles, which was with that project. Set of earbuds, USB to power, micro USB. Uh, that includes just yep. because they're both very necessary things. USB drive, flash drive, it's only one gig. I gave my 8 gig one away. A multi-tool. It is not a Leatherman, but it is a gift and very 
very useful. That may be the bottom of my bag, other than random dollar bills and envelopes. And an orange, apparently. <laughs> 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 no, orange. it's not bad. All right, so that is, oh, the pockets, of oh, course. Okay. We got a little. I have keys and a phone. Phone. <laughs> this is me. Ready? Oh, sure. Yeah. You going? Okay. Um, I'll do that second because I don't carry that around everywhere I go. Just kind of when I come here. So I'll do my pockets first. Let's see. Yeah, obviously. The cell phone. Little mini multi tool. Butane uh, blowtorch. Uh, yeah, it's a blowtorch. The butane type. It look, yeah. works like a. Doesn't blow out, and it can melt through a lot better stuff. You can like, do. You can like, you know. Yeah. Why do you think I carried around? I don't smoke. You just never need when you're going to need to apply what? fire. <laughs> <laughs> What's the orange thing? Oh, that's my thumb drive. Okay. Little eight gig thumb drive. And a bunch of uh, coins. This is my flipping Shame. coin. And paper clips, because you know, you never know when paper clips are just like the MacGyver of office supplies. You have a flipping coin? Yeah. When you need the coin toss? Yeah. Oh, okay. I, I always toss it and then go with the opposite result. It's, that's just how I toss things. Let's see. Uh, oh, Lord. Okay. Then the right cargo pocket. Oh, gosh. Let's see. We have pocket knife, bouncy ball. Pirate eye patch. Yeah. Uh, okay. Mini tape measure. Receipts for stuff I may return. Receipts for stuff I'm not going to return. Other pocket. Uh, jeweler's loop. Uh, set of earplugs, just in case. You know, earplugs. Good, yeah. And a uh, little mini roll of fishing line. I think this wow. is 20 pound test. And I used to have one. I used to always carry around a roll that was like 80 pound test because. That just comes in handy a lot. You never know when you're gonna need a hundred yards of eighty pound fishing line. Is eighty pounds enough to kill a man? Would you say? Yes, especially okay. if you loop it twice. Then it's one hundred and sixty. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. I've got my wallet on my belt, oh. so it never falls off. I've got all my cards and stuff in there. Oh. Keys are also clipped to my belt because I can't, so I can't lose them. Because otherwise, I'd lose the crap out of them. Let's see. This pocket. Checkbook and my little idea notebook in a little Ziploc bag so I can't get wet. No. That's a good idea. And then a whole bunch of receipts that I need to take out and put in a Ziploc bag and file. That's my pants. <laughs> oh, I'm scared. <laughs> so then over here you got water bottle standard. Uh, let's see. I don't know, I've only seen three so far. Hmm. Obviously, it's a flask. Netbook. Yeah. A little Laptop desk for the netbook and the charger thing for the netbook and a couple CDs. I'll just leave out the books. So here's a engineering engineering paper pad. You gotta love that stuff. You can't have enough, too much engineering paper. And then this one. Let's see, there's headphones, pocket gram scale. <laughs> What? Do you sell drugs or beans? <laughs> <laughs> or I make stuff. And you just never know when you're going to need 0.1 gram precision for things. A uh, bunch of Harbor Freight coupons. <laughs> yeah. It's like, no, so there's a perfect good reason why I have a gram scale, 500 miniature plastic bags, a, a knife, a, a lighter, and, uh, you know, and, other, there's, there's, and $100 in ones. So like, there's, there's really a good reason for this. There's, I, I can remember in the past week going, damn, I wish I had a scale. I don't remember why, but I remember at the moment, I was like, yeah. Ta-da! Let's see, there's the uh, cartoon guide to, to chemistry. Good. Spread it out as you set it down, yeah. Alright, Wow, I thought I carried a lot of stuff. I guess I'll put all my Harbor Freight coupons over there. Uh, oh lord, I haven't got any pockets yet. Harbor Freight. Okay, so the back pocket, the po on the outside. Let's see. I've got 
another pocket knife, a couple of little bungees, a spare pair of batteries for the calculator just in case you run out, and then a bunch of pencil lead and erasers. And there, that's one out pocket. <laughs> Second outside pocket. Let's see. Oh, I'm missing the fireworks because I took them out the last time I through airport security. <laughs> I had those little pull fireworks where like you have strings in the end and you pull it and they oh, yeah, in the middle. Yeah. So you can like tie them two things to make a little like sonic trap so you know when people get into stuff. Like, that was just coming handy. So there's a little mini USB mouse. But apparently you could take down a plane with them, right? Yeah, apparently. Like, no, I was like, I was like, I don't know, but I really doubt they're gonna let me through security with these and I don't right. want to lose them. So I took them out and they land on my floor at home. Excellent. So anyways, mini mouse, post-it notes, uh, an adapter for my phone from Ricard, a little USB A to USB little. Out there and a set of uh, micro D and D dice. Huh? I love those. <laughs> yeah. Well. <laughs> you're like, you're just like, you're like, ding, ding, ding. You're like, oh shit. All right. So that's that pocket. There's that pocket. In this pocket. See what's in here. There's a pair of other pair of headphones. Uh, apparently, two more pairs of headphones. A necklace and a carabiner. Oh, ball bearing. Uh, let's see. On the outside pocket, a little phone pocket that doesn't fit my smartphone. I have. Not a smartphone. A prism. Prism. <laughs> Excellent. Do you have a yo yo in your bed too? Oh, and apparently USB drive. Uh -huh. This stuff has been in here for a long time. So there's my camera, but I just clip that on for tonight. I don't usually carry that around because I'm too lazy to take pictures. I'm always like staring at something and go, oh, I should have taken a picture of that. Let's see. There's that pocket. Oh, good. We've got two pockets here. <laughs> So let's see, the outside, outside pocket. Oh, oh, these are book darts. I love these things. Has anybody else seen these? No. Like I used to have like a whole thing full of them. I'm almost out of to order more. Like there are these little leaf things. Like you put on like book pages and they slide onto the page. Oh, I've so, seen like, those. So you can mark yes. your spot, but they're thin enough. Like they don't actually like do anything to the paper. So you can put like 20 of them in a book and like, you know, note like formulas and stuff in textbooks or just remember where your place was and you don't mess the book up with bookmarks. In this pocket, let's see, I've got, oh, I missed this pocket in my pants. Anyways, there's a mini art, uh, engineering ruler, one of those little three-sided deals. Oh, yeah. I found a like, little mini one somewhere. I was like, yes! Uh, pocket reference, a la mm -hmm. Mythbusters. You can't go wrong with having one of those around. TI-89. So much information in that pocket reference. <laughs> oh, my God. It's just like, oh, my God. A uh, set of drafting pens. These are like the best pens you can ever buy. Like they do not dry out and they make perfect lines. And then drafting pencil, a little compass, drafting pencil can fit into you so you can have a mechanical compass. A uh, little pen, some risers. Ah, and a uh, green laser pointer. And oh, forgot this pocket in my pants. So over here I've got glue stick because I was bringing tonight. This is a pen. It has a mechanical pencil, pen, and a stylus. So you've always got what you need. And this is a tungsten scribe. It'll mark anything short of diamond. I love huh. it so much. It marks plastic, metal, like so you can like make lines on things. Like you can make lines on like wood and metal and stuff to like mark your place. It makes little hair lines on them. Or you huh. can like scratch your name into things. It just comes in useful. Cool. And that is, I think, everything from my pockets. Cool. Wow. You covered the table. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. All right, so this is my bag. This is a bag I got off of Woot for like $20. It's a, what, Camelback? Yep. Um, I actually modified it. It had like a thing here that goes around your waist and like clips together. And I just cut those off because that, that's useless to me. <laughs> but, uh, so in the bag, we have, uh, notebook type thing here, right? 
Um, that's in case I have a nice meeting I need to go to. I feel <laughs> fancy. I have the ThinkPad, like most other people here. Hey, there's a... Oh, there's nothing in there. <laughs> um, right now there's a Dockstar adapter, but that needs to go uh, Okay, so also in the bag, so there's the laptop thing, and also I used to keep clothes in here, like a set of clothes, and when I travel, I keep a set of clothes in here, like uh, pants, like shirts, underwear, socks, you know, in case your baggage is lost, you have some stuff. That's in the main area. Up here, I have headphones, Skull Candy headphones, which Ooh. also work. They have the, um, the little button for my phone so I can receive calls or play and pause music. Do they have a mic too? They have a mic too, yeah. Um, the square reader for taking money. Keys. Um, the MiFi that work did not give me. Just a MiFi. You're not gonna Um that's that pocket. So over here I have baby powder. Guys, you know what I'm talking about in the summer. <laughs> <laughs> So not a guy. <laughs> uh, Bluetooth mouse works on my phone and laptop. Ooh. Uh, what? Uh, yeah. What? A toothbrush? You need a mouse. Right. Carry a toothbrush? I don't carry a toothpaste though. That's awesome. Actually, no, I do. Oh, I carry a toothpaste. <laughs> um, my old droid, which is in like pristine condition. How did you um, manage that? I, because it was only used for about a year. Um, this is a crazy ass bouncy ball. Is that flubber? <laughs> I don't know. I got this about, my, my stepdad got this about 15 years ago. Seriously, on a job yeah. somewhere doing something. I don't know. It is this way. <laughs> uh, juggling balls? Uh -huh. like um, a little bit. Not a whole lot. Um, okay, hold on one second. These are the tools to take an iPod apart. Yeah. I don't know why they're in my bag, but they are. Yeah. <laughs> no, here's your bouncy ball. And some cap, some medicine. Ooh, that'll be fun one day. <laughs> no, it's just Something. medicine. I think the rest of it's medicine time. sitting in my desk at work. I say I can't juggle, but I have them. <laughs> Yay. A little bit. You can get as far as I can. Okay, so that was that pocket. This pocket is simple. It just has the power adapter for the laptop. This thing is like a net or something. <laughs> it's for like a helmet. I never use it. It goes back in here. <laughs> Maybe. Ah. Feature of the bag. Um, yes. In the front pocket, we have a box cutter, because you never know when you need a box cutter or razor blade. I have used that multiple times. Today? Uh, no, not today, but the checkbook, um, the make my personal cards with the Maker's Logo logo and website on them, the Bill of Rights in Ooh. metal form. So I take that through the airport and they can steal my rights away from me. It also keeps your wallet from being like x-ray scannable. So you can have one of those little utility cards behind it. Like, ah, I have a little British prayer card like that. Solid metal and then like a little utility card with a knife and tweezers and stuff in it. And then when you stick it right through the metal detector, as long as you put it flat, it's like it shows up as a big white spot. Like, These are uh, Bluetooth headphones. Um, they work for my laptop or my phone. They also have play, pause, all that good stuff. So when I don't want to use the skull candies, I use those. Or sometimes with Pulse Audio, I use both. <laughs> we good on time, Tim? I have a little uh, Cat5 cable that I found in the trash at work. Um, a Magic Wallet that I tested out using, but haven't continued. Uh, micro USB to USB, or US, micro USB cord. has one. This is fun. Uh, so this is a 3.5 millimeter to 3.5 millimeter um, headphone thing. 
which works awesome when you rent a vehicle. Almost all vehicles now have a little auxiliary input. Uh, and so you take this, you hook it up to your phone, if you have an Android phone or iPhone or whatever. iPod. Yeah, iPod, you have. PSP. Zoom. <laughs> Rio. Um, camera, small camera. Also with the camera, the charger, which uses the same power thing as my laptop charger, so I don't need to carry an extra cord for that. Um, Edo. <laughs> so would you say there's something about the technology industry that <laughs> produces stress and headaches? <laughs> um, this, this is a wall charger for the USB cord for my phone or any other micro USB. A uh, wireless USB card that is just standard, no, nothing fancy about it. I don't even know why it's in there. Um, also have a USB stick with Linux with some Linux ISOs on it, um, some Windows, some live Windows stuff. Just need to debug a computer. There it is. Uh, three prong uh, power outlet. So. One, you know, plugs into the wall, you get three. This is good in hotel rooms if you're traveling. Um, this is fun. This is a USB-powered um, switch hub. So, but the cool thing about this is it has port mirroring on ports one and five. So when you plug something into one, you can plug something else into five. Whatever goes in and out of one also goes in and out of five. So you can sniff the traffic. Do what? I th yes, I think so. It's probably uh, only one way out of five, though. Whatever oh, you see yeah. in one, yeah. it only comes out of five. Right. And then ports one and two are uh, power over Ethernet pass-through. So I guess like maybe in your office or your hotel room, you can plug this in by your like Cisco phone or whatever, and it'll continue to pass the power. And then you can also sniff that traffic because it's on port one. Yeah. So, And it's USB powered. I haven't really used it yet, so... Um, a chamois to keep my monitor clean. Um, a multi-tool, a SOG multi-tool that comes in this nice little knitted case by Alice. And last, wow, <laughs> a broken flashlight. <laughs> Good in a pinch. Aw, the, uh, the glass thing. Here it is. Wait, I can fix this. On camera, doing it live. <laughs> oh, no, it came on. There was light. Ha-ha. <laughs> there we go. Works again. This was from, like, New Deal Extreme for, like, a dollar. Okay. I think that's it. Yep, that's it. Cam done. Yay. Yay.